Don't worry about that. I just had to, you know. Mm, Cause there's something at the beginning. Hold on, come on. Come on. This is a demo version of Cabernet, a narrative driven RPG by Party Frankfurt. Some features and contents of this game are still be polished and finalized. And I couldn't read fast enough, but generally there will be full voices in the full game. But hello, Hekian, guten Morgen and half a day. We're gonna be playing this lovely demo because they sent me an email and they're like, hey, you should check out this demo. And I was like, bet. It's a visual novel, vampire, as you can see. And then I tried not to read too much into it because I want to, you know, be surprised. I don't want to spoil myself. Eastern Europe, end of the 19th century, so 1800s. If you want me to listen, then get on your knees and back! <laughs> Mother, thank you all for coming here today to say goodbye to my Lysa. Hold on. Hi, Tony. I will hand out the treats. Wait, is it gonna stay if I don't push anything? Morozova Elizaveta. Whoa, what's the numbers on my grave? Okay, if I don't touch anything, is it gonna stay? But heck yeah. Get ready for some vampires and visual novel-esque. I never thought I will bury my own daughter, my own blood, my pride, yet... Voice breaks down. You got this, Tony. I... I can't do this. Mitko, please say something. I just can't. Uncle Mitko. There, there. It's alright. Clear's throat. What can I say about someone dying so young? Especially someone as special as Liza. Is it Liza or Lisa? It's Liza, right? Because it's Eliza Veta. If I may, I won't dwell on the circumstances of her tragic death today. Instead, today we celebrate her life. Despite her obvious calling for medicine when she was little, I always thought she would become. Ooh! Ooh. A musician, a writer, a doctor, a politician. You know what? This is the end of the 1800s. Let's be a lady politician. Your history and politics knowledge has increased. A big name politician. You're going to laugh, but little Liza solved home disputes better than any court judge. She got out of all kinds of trouble, too. Even if we knew she stole a cookie, no one could ever prove it. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this. Such a bright girl. Always a top student. Always the pride of her m parents. By the time she graduated. Thirst for rich women. Scientific mind. Science and logic. Liza knew everything there was to learn from books about science in our day. Laws of physics, human anatomy, chemical solutions, you name it. I can't tell you how proud we all were when she was accepted at the medical academy. I had no doubt that she was destined for greatness. But to become a doctor, one of the first women to achieve that in the whole country. If someone deserved that honor, it was our Liza. But my niece was mo so much more than a gifted student. They're gonna start playing. She was a passionate artist. With all her talent for science, what everybody truly knew her by was her artistic nature and angelic voice. Do you remember her summer night performances at the cabin? Her singing, no matter the song, time or place, it felt like it spoke to you alone. Haunting, otherworldly, beautiful. Uncle Miko clears throat again, becomes more emotional. <laughs> she was my favorite niece. Let us raise a glass to her. Pour some vodka for Kolya too. He is old enough to send his sister off. A piece of my soul went into the ground with her today, as I am sure did many of yours. But those pieces help Liza wherever she is now. To Liza. To Liza! Drinking in silence. All right. All right. Do I need to move my camera? I feel like I'm in a good place because I imagine when all the- When I was a little girl, I often had trouble falling asleep. Oh, do I have to click it? Oh, I have to click it! My mother used to sing me this lullaby to comfort me. I bet there's an auto button. Tonight, 
I slept deeper than I had in my entire life. I had a disturbing dream that a string was coming out of my mouth. When I started pulling it, I realized that it came from all the way down my throat, buried somewhere deep in my body. I kept pulling, but I couldn't go too quickly for fear of burning myself with friction. Finally, the whole string was out. I felt relieved, but also strangely empty. I realized that I was in my bed, with my mother sitting beside me, crying. I didn't know why she was in tears, but I knew it was my fault. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Okay. Okay. I see dusk. I see a cup that looks like it'd be full of blood. Okay. Mom. Cola. My body feels like it's stuffed with cotton. Like I slept for days. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, this is a fun visual novel. I get to move around. I can't see further than my own fingers. I should take the lamp with me. <gasps> oh, dude, yes! <gasps> Amazing, I'm in love. The cupboard is locked. Either this is a nightmare or I am in hell. This feels too real to be a dream. Okay, all right, let's... What else we got over here? My medical journal from the academy and my family medallion. Who could have brought this here? Oh. Handcrafted sterling civil medallion passed on to lives by her father. Press tab to access the journal. Open task can be found in quests. Ooh. Number 989? Ooh. I'm seeing some good and some bad vibes. Okay, yin and yang, we like. Escape the chamber. There's some relationships. Yo, this is not just a visual novel. This is a whole thing. Oh my god, so much yes. Lilies of the valley, my favorite flower. Who put them in this room? It's disturbing to see them here. Locked. Damn. Hello? Anyone? Hello? Who is this? I'm locked inside, please help. Hello? Are you still there? Maybe you can't talk? Please knock twice for yes and once for no. Thank goodness. Can you help me open the door? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Will you help me? Oh, don't. Hi, Diggins. Again. Don't worry, I won't die. I'm a vampire? Question mark? So he can, but he won't. How are we doing this lovely day, Diggins? What is it that you want from me? I don't have much, but I can owe you a favor. Then it's settled. Whoever you are, do you hear me? 
I'm hoping it's not like a bad favor. If you open this door, I, Elizaveta Morozova, will be in your debt. Oh, no, Diggins. You want some goldfish? Ah! What the hell is this? My shoulder just felt like it was burning up. I can't see anything from this angle. I should check up on it later. It's open. No one. <laughs> Hello? What have I gotten myself into? Access the character sheet. I'm sorry, I get skill points? Earning experience points increases your rank, allowing you to upgrade your skills. You'd like to modify once you're finished. I don't... I don't know what they do? So I'm a little worried about assigning skill points. But I guess I should even myself out. New objective, seek a way out, okay. All the huggies for diggins. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Rat scurry. What a peculiar painting. Oh, it looks nice though. <gasps> Ooh, there we go. The husband and wife in the picture don't look very happy. If I had to guess, I'd say it wasn't the perfect marriage. Aw, oh, bro. That sounds amazing. How do we help you achieve this dream? All right, I need more history. It smells like death here. There's someone's money in here. I could live on this for a week. What is that sound? I'm gonna leave the money. Tempting, but I can't take what isn't mine. <gasps> you gained humanity. Liza's morality is still shaping. Certain choices will provide you with humanity or nihilism points. Some choices will only become available to Liza after she reaches certain levels. All right, I'm gonna I'm try to be a good person. Keyword is try. A week's worth of money, so... <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll start you in OnlyFans. And just have you like, you know, in your construction outfits. The mirror is covered by a sheet. People only do that when someone dies. Oh, that's cool. It, like, gives me terms and stuff. Mother explained that this is so the dead soul does not get lost and trapped inside. Silly superstition, of course. I will go full bar at Hey, if they're throwing the money at you, right? It's like, make, make your money, king. Do whatever you can. Hmm. Remove? We live in the age of science where there's no room for this nonsense. What is this? Where is my reflection? I can't see myself. It must be a trick mirror. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally a trick mirror. Okay, so I have four out of 15 experience. Away I go. Oh. Yuri. <gasps> it's hard to say without seeing the face, but this dress. Could it be the same girl from the first painting? Okay, so about two points per experience. <sighs> this is unbearable. I'm a doctor. I can get through this. I just need to look straight ahead. 
give me strength, no matter what is on the other side. Hi, society. I'll make sense of all this later. Something is wrong. My head is spinning. I feel the floor slipping from under my feet. Countess Manor in such a filthy outfit? It's spreading all over the country! She must be a nihilist! Why doesn't she have a mask on? I'm trying to leave. Hello? Sending me on a special assignment to the capital. It's rude to stare at a lady. Sorry. And the food looks so fresh and delicious. I have absolutely no appetite for it. I know it's an ideal Countess Orlova, but I'm afraid there's not much we can do at this point. Of course, now their bloody isn't the right time to act was last week. Where were you when? Who is this creature? <laughs> Darling, you look like a little dumb boy. Cub, come over here. I don't bite. Hello. I'm gonna- I'm so sorry. Terribly sorry for- you must be the doctor's new apprentice! Look at you, poor thing. You must be fresh out of the ground. Excuse me? Ah! Nobody must have actually inducted you. How typical. No surprises with the men around here. Who saw why she's such a state? She was not supposed to wake. I'd love to catch you up, dear, but sadly I have some urgent business to attend to thanks to this gentleman over here. Clears throat nervously. Well, so I'll be a darling and show this young lady around once she's decent. As you wish, madam. If you'll excuse me, I'll go for a smoke on the balcony. You can find me there. You're excused. Asa has been unlocked. If I recall my first day correctly, your head must be killing you. Here, drink this. Thank you. May I ask what this is? If you know too much, you'll grow old sooner. Trust me, it will lift your spirits. Whatever this is, it is beyond delicious. It is sweet and thick and tastes like cherry and wild strawberries. Thank you, I do feel a lot better all of a sudden. Now go change! We can't have you gallivanting around in those scrubs. There was a nice dress about your size in the cloakroom. Consider this my welcome gift. Thank you kindly, Madam... Orlova? Madam Orlova? You're welcome, child. Off you go. Change and mingle. Time is money. Hold shift. Ooh. Zoom. Okay. Okay. Let me see this uh, relationship thing. <gasps> Neutral. Neutral. Okay, so by increasing, does by like five. Status, undead. Address, unknown. Okay, what about him? He's also undead. Nice. Wait, his full name is Stefan Road? Okay. Okay. Goodness. This must be the dress Countess was talking about. Such an ornate western dress, it must cost a small fortune. I want nothing more than to change out of this horrible nightgown, but this is just too much. Put it on. I can't ruin such beauty with dirt. I better wash up first. Fair. Fair. Another cloth on a mirror. Something bad must have happened. I'm gonna say wash up without the mirror, because you can't see yourself. We don't need the countess coming in here and being like, Ah! All right, let's get this dress on. <gasps> oh, and the outfits have effects. Oh my God, yes, this game is amazing. Put on the dress. 
It's perfect. Fits like a glove. I look so proper now. Let's go talk with Hussar. At least I hope I don't. I'm I'm waiting for dinner to start and like somebody be in that giant pan. I don't know why. This is the vibe. But delay and inevitable is just tying my stomach in knots. I need to find that young man and learn the truth. Have you heard the rumors about Count Kamansky? Stop messing with the phonograph, it's not a toy! I'm so sorry. Sorry! S does he do ventriloquism? Can I just zoom on by? It's good news for me. It's been two weeks since the last cabaret shipment. The clientele is very unhappy. Is that how you say? Cabaret? Cab cabernet? Cost action points. Hold to activate them. Action points. A member of Light Calvary originating in Central Europe during the 15th and 16th centuries, the title and distinctive dress of those horsemen were subsequently widely adopted by Light Calvary regiments in European armies in the late 17th and early 18th centuries. Hussar frequently associated with being ladies' men who are prone to drinking and debauchery. Go on. Also, there was. Wasn't there something else we learned? Oh, yeah, this. In the Slavic religious tradition, Domovoy, also spelled Domovoy, 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 is the household spirit of a given kin. They're deified progenitors. That is to say, the fountainhead ancestors of the kin. Sometimes he has a female counterpart, Domania, the goddess of the household, though he is most often a single god. The Domovoy expresses himself as a number of other spirits of the household and its different functions. Oh. You actually don't look half bad when you're not covered in graveyard dirt. Can't return the compliment! Oh no! Nihilism! I wish I could return the compliment, but you look quite pale and dreary. Oh, I was trying to be nice. I was... I thought it was gonna be like, oh, thank you. Wish I could say... Okay, well, darn. Nina can't recuse, apparently. Must be from all that tobacco. Oh, it improved. Ha, I like a lady with a sharp tongue. Oh my god, it worked in my favor. <laughs> However, I'm afraid my paleness doesn't come from smoking. Surely an educated lady like you must have put together who we are by now, haven't you? Oh, I don't have enough literature to be like, vampires. <laughs> I'd rather not guess. Please just tell me straight, who are you? Simply, we are vampires. Mirror? Is this why I had no reflection in the mirror? If that's what you're concerned about, you look just fine. Am I dead? Does this mean I'm dead? Dead? Alive? Who the hell cares? Trust me, Liza, you just won the lottery. I don't even remember how I died. That actually does happen quite a bit. That memory usually comes back soon enough. All right. <gasps> Defense mechanism? Must be some sort of defense mechanism that suppresses a traumatic experience. What about my family? When can I see them? I was worried that will ask me that. What? I was worried that will ask me that. I was worried that you would ask me that? Technically, they think you are dead, and it's best for everyone if they keep thinking that. It's true, too. I can't just leave them like this. They have to know I'm alright. Look. I know this is too much for you to take in right now. Maybe that's a conversation we should revisit at another time. Okay. I have so many questions. <sighs> See, that's what I was... That's... That's what I was afraid of. Theory is not my forte. I am a proponent of learning by doing. Why don't you go talk the ears off some other guests while I finish smoking in peace? After that, I can show you what it's really like to be one of us. I... Suppose I can do that? Could you at least tell me a little about the people? The guests in there? Oh, come on. Where's your spirit of adventure? I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. Do I have history? <gasps> Wait, I have 10 history? Oh, that's right, because the outfit. That's right. Wait, my vampire rank increased? Learning by doing. What is it? I wonder if the Countess would approve of you pushing your responsibilities off to a bunch of strangers. 
Well played. Fine. Let me think for a moment about our fun little group here. You've already met the Countess, so that's a big plus. Not everyone gets to do that in their first month, let alone first day. Who else would you like to know about? The lady with the purple hair. Who is the intense lady with the purple hair? That's Alyssa. She's quite important around here. I'd try to start on the right foot with her if I were you. Okay. What could you tell me about the woman in the pink dress? You must mean Arbon? You know, they say she was born somewhere far to the east. That broad has been around forever, probably has a tale or two to share. What about the young man who asked about my health? Who? Oh, you must mean Petyov. He is just a human. Alyssa brought him in for fun. He is such a card and has absolutely no clue. That's mean. That's mean. That sounds cruel. Oh, don't be like that. It's all in good fun. I think... Are we gonna eat him? I suppose that's everyone of note, really, besides me, of course. Of course. Alright, thank you kindly. I'll be back soon enough. No rush, please. Am I not on the way, am I? No, I'm, I'm out of his space. Okay. Well. <gasps> Rank three. Okay, um... Question. Can I go back down into the basement? Socialize with the guests. What if I don't want to? What if I don't want to? Come on, don't any of you cowards want to have any fun? My lady, with all due respect, Russian roulette seems just too much fun for the night. Fine, get lost then. Be on your merry way. Who knew the second time I die would be of boredom? I don't... I don't want to accidentally engage in a conversation. Can I head back downstairs? Have you tried the Countess Cabernet? Honestly, I think this may have been the best one I ever tasted. I prefer to stick to clear drinks around here. If you really want to try some decent Cabernet, stop by my salon on the main street. Oh, that sounds like a challenge. I'll take you up on that offer. Oh, I can't go back. Okay. I mean, I only have history and politics at Tenton because my current dress. Uh... Maybe... Literature? Music? Alright. Hello. Hello, lovely. I don't think I've seen you around before. I'm Arbin. I'm Liza. Good evening to you, too. You don't sound so sure. Is it really a good one for you? You're right. If I'm honest, it hasn't been the easiest night. That's what I thought. My advice is always be honest, unless you absolutely can't be. In the end, it does make everybody feel better. That's a good piece of advice. I like her key earring. Stick with me, lovely. I'm chock full of them. Count, count as wine. Couldn't help but overhear that you are a wine expert? I dabble. I run a literary saloon, salon in town and serve drink. Oh, I was trying to click on it so I could learn more about it. How exciting. All kinds of interesting people must come by. You'd be surprised and mildly disappointed. I'd love for you to stop by one day. I'll treat you to a round of something nice. I'll make sure to visit. New quest added. Since you're an expert, may I ask you about the wine that the Countess gave me? I'll admit, I found it delicious, but it wasn't really wine, was it? It was not. Cabernet was sort of our code word for blood, so we don't shock any innocents. And then we just got used to it. Funny how language works, isn't it? Yes. Funny. I've only just been churned and all. This is very new to me. May I trouble you for some advice? Hmm. Probably don't mind me asking, but... Has someone in your family enjoyed wine a little too much? My father? Yes, my father. Wine, vodka, anything he can drink, really. Nervous chuckle. You aren't very clairvoyant, are you? Everyone becomes a little clairvoyant if they live long enough to pay attention. I saw you drinking that glass earlier, and I think you should be careful around it. Alcohol is my father's problem, but it isn't mine. It's not alcohol you should be concerned about. You can keep away from it if you want. Blood, however, you will now have to drink whether you like it or not. Whether I like it or not. Demons are hereditary. Lovely. Always remember that. Okay. 
Well, I should get going. Good luck. I have a feeling we'll see each other soon. All right, good day. Hello. Now, would you look at this pretty picture? I could barely recognize you from before. Where did you get this dress? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. It's a gift from he countess. The countess? <laughs> from he countess. She's very generous. Huh, that, that look familiar. Name is Alyssa, by the way. Liza, it's a pleasure. Young man from earlier? May I ask who was the young man you talked with earlier? Ooh, Petya? Why, are you interested? Goodness, no, I was just making conversation. <laughs> oh. Don't be shy, we're not attached. Petya is, is human, I picked him up at the town market. He's a salesman, a ridiculously bad one at that. If you two are not an item, may I ask why did you invite him over? Because it was my turn. A turn for what? To spice up the eternity. I think they're gonna eat him. So, I've just been churned today. Congratulations, that must be quite shocking. Thrilling, even. I'm envious, really. Yes, thank you. I'm not quite sure how to process all this yet. What does one even do with this? Being dead, drinking blood, who knows what else. Same thing anyone around here does. Mass deciding playing eternity day after day. Spicing it up any way you can. Hence the Russian roulette. We're already dead, aren't we? What else is there to lose? Do you fancy a round? Maybe some other time. So yourself. So eternity. So it's true what they say. Vampires live forever. We exist forever. We don't live. But then again, few do. Does this mean we can't die? I mean, stop existing? Oh, sweetheart, there is nothing easier. Just stop drinking blood for a few days, fall from a high roof, or just step into the sunlight. I should probably be writing all this down. So now that you have eternity on your side, do you consider your existence more valuable? Yes? I suppose infinite time does add some gravity to it. I see. In that case, how would you compare value of your new existence to, say, Pietas? I- I- Petya's a salesman, I'm a doctor, and, you know, if we had to do our jobs for all eternity, who's to say our lives aren't equal? You know, he'd be selling stuff, making people's lives better, and I, I'd be healing them with my doctor stuff. Equal. What a strange question, they're equally important, of course. Fair enough. Still, it's an interesting thought experiment, isn't it? Ooh, she's gonna remember in the future? Why? Indeed. Alright, good day. I think someone's calling for me. Alright, my, my humanity's looking good. Alright. Where's the young man? Right? You? I do actually have a model right here with me. I always carry Matilda with me in case a good opportunity strikes. You just never know. Look into her eyes. Doesn't she look alive to you? Like she's going to blink? Yes, well, apologies. Petya. Petya, we should probably go discuss some urgent business with the Countess. Oh, of course. In fact, I love to meet her as... Aww. I don't know how, but I can just sense that he is not one of us. Such a strange feeling. Attraction? No, but something very similar. He is most certainly human. What's up, man? Oh, hello. It's you, lady in the nightgown. How are you feeling? I was really worried. Much better, thank you. I'm Liza, by the way. Of course, where are my manners? I'm Petya. It's a pleasure. You were the only one who seemed to care about my illness. <laughs> oh, nonsense. There are a lovely bunch around here, just all very busy. With third group I'm pitching my dolls to, and everyone keeps running off for urgent business. Matilda. Did you say you're selling dolls? And making them, yes. I think I heard you have one with you, may I take a look? Of course, Matilda here is my favorite. I'd love to get some honest feedback. Well, what do you think? 
She's beautiful. It's just lovely. So detailed and human-like. She reminds me of one that I had when I was a little girl. That's exactly what I wanted to accomplish. Thank you. I knew someone here would appreciate it. I'm hoping to show her to the Countess. With her approval, the sky is the limit. You know, making toys is what I wanted to do since I was a little boy. My father always called this foolishness, among other things. Said it's not manly work. I never managed to convince him otherwise. I'm sorry, that must have been tough. Well, here I am. Still at it. I do have a feeling that I'm onto something with Matilda. Just you wait. My gut tells me tonight is going to bring something special, and it's never wrong. I'm... Alright, invitation. How did you end up being invited here, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, that's all thanks to Alyssa, the lovely young woman in a, in a yellow dress. She saw me at the town market and saw some real potential in my work. She said that people here at Manor... Here at Manor might be interested in seeing it, and you didn't have to ask me twice. I see. How's the pitching going so far? I'll admit, it's a little slow. But the night's still young. You are an optimistic guy, aren't you, Petia? My mother used to say that my hope will be the death of me. <sighs> no. <laughs> He's gonna be fine. We're not gonna eat him. Please don't eat him. We can't eat him. We have a relationship <laughs> slot for him. But what's the point of living if you don't believe in people and yourself? You may be right about that, and at least I truly hope you are. Oh my god. No, Tony! Best of luck with everything, Petya. Hope everything works out with the Countess. Thank you, Liza. You're very kind. Okay. I've socialized with them. Turn to Hussan. We're going to eat him, aren't we? Also, what's the bottom left corner? Good timing. I just finished up. Yes. How lucky. Don't be snappy, Liza. Smoking is an important routine for a soldier. Can't be interrupted. Which division? Soldier, huh? And which division were you from exactly? We can talk about the division some other time, perhaps. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? All of them. What is going on in the basement of the manor? It's absolutely terrifying down there. Oh, yes, the basement. If I were you, I would just forget all about it. Excuse me? All I know is that Countess conducts her business, and she doesn't enjoy people meddling in it. If it's so confidential, how come I ended up there in the first place? Minor oversight, you were supposed to be moved upstairs before you were up, but it appears that you are an early riser. And whose oversight was it, may I ask? Let's not focus on casting blame, shall we? I say all's well that ends well. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? Yeah. Who ended up letting me out of the chamber? If I'm honest, I haven't the foggiest idea. I thought you knew. Well, I don't, and whoever it was gives me the goosebumps. On top of everything, I ended up promising them a favor and left a bad burn on my shoulder right after that. Do you know what it possibly could be? Let me take a look. Oh, brother. Oh, no. What did I do? What? What is it? Um, it could be nothing. Really, no need to worry. Just make sure you show this to the doctor when you see him, all right? All right. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? Uh, other creatures? If vampires are real, does this mean other fairy tales are? You'll have to be more specific than that. Osaka's, Demovi's, Ghost? What is all? What is this? Rusalka. In Slavic folklore, the Rusalka is a typically feminine entity, often malicious toward mankind and frequently associated with water, with counterparts in other parts of Europe, such as the French... Mluzine and the Germanic Nixie. Oh. Folklorists have proposed a variety of origins for the entity, including that they may originally stem from Slavic paganism, where they may have been seen as benevolent spirits. Rosalki appear in a variety of media and modern popular culture, particularly in Slavic language speaking countries, where they frequently resemble the concept of the mermaid. Okay. Ghosts. Yes. No. Yes. So, yes to mermaids, no to deities in the house, and yes to ghosts. We'll spend all night here if we keep talking about flora and fauna. If you want my advice, focus on yourself first. That always ends up working for me. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? Nope. I suppose that's it for the time being. Perfect. If you don't mind me asking, what do you make of all this? 
I take it you've done a couple of laps around the ballroom, learned a little more about what it's like to be one of us. Keep, keep, <laughs> keep it an open mind or I'm dead. <laughs> keep it an open mind. Well, I'm obviously still in shock, but yes. From a scientific perspective, I have to admit, I'm curious. This is certainly a unique condition we are in. I'd love to learn more about it for my studies. I'm impressed. I've certainly seen now why the doctor chose you as his apprentice. All right. Have you read Thunderstorm? I don't have enough literature. No. I'm not so sure. Why? <gasps> Wait. <gasps> if I level up in the middle of a conversation, could I make this stronger? Ooh. Ooh. Well, unlike Katarina in the play, you no longer need to wonder why people can't fly. Oh my god, he's adorable. How- How did you do that? By sheer will, Liza, it's very simple. <laughs> Wait, he could talk- He could still talk? Or is he, like, communicating telepathically? I'm sorry, I'm just imagining a bat trying to talk. How are you even talking with me in such a- You and me, Liza, we get it! That's yet another benefit of being one of us. We can project our thoughts into people's minds. Asking you shall receive your answers, Nina. I prefer it, really. I find normal speech kind of primitive. <laughs> Why don't you do it all the time, then? I'd love to, but you don't want to get used to it and scare a human by accident. Now, why don't you try? Let's see what kind of bat you are. <gasps> what kind of bat I am? <gasps> oh, goodness! I'm adorable! Isn't this a hoot? Come on, I'll show you around. Shut up. Shut up. Bat indicator in the bottom left of the screen informs whether bat shifting is currently possible. To land while in bat shape, descend on a surface from above until a landing circle appears beneath you. Yeah, we're, we're a bat sim now. Take a flight lesson. How dare this game be like, oh, it's a visual novel. It's better than a visual novel. Hello. I gotta, be, I gotta become a human. Seems like you're catching on. Follow me! This is amazing. Whee! <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually flying. Go! All this talk about death. Why don't you feel more alive than you ever have been? I'm trying to read and fly. Hello? Wait. Wait. Hold on. Why are we here? Makes a shushing sound. There, look. I think I'm going to eat him. If only I had three coins to my name. Then I'd show them. They'd all see. Is this what you wanted to show me? A drunk peasant? What I wanted to show you is how to use your new powers. Meet Trophim. He is the Countess's former serf, now custodian and coachman. Wait, I haven't heard of a serf in forever. The term serf refers to an unfree person who historically could be sold only with the land to which they were attached. Serfdom became the dominant form of, of relation between peasants and nobility in many Eastern European countries in the 17th century. Oh. Among other things, he makes sure no one goes in or out without her permission. Important man. Now come with me. I'm just gonna have to bat it out of here. How is life, Trophim? Hussar, is that you? The bottle gave me. Highest quality. Much obliged. I can see that it's nearly empty already. Unintelligible. Alright, enough pleasantries. Watch this. <whistles> I'm sorry, did you just possess him? What happened to him? Is he alright? He's fine, we call this enchantment. Enchantment! Wait, where is that from? Dragon Age. The dwarf's son. Enchantment! And that's all he would say, and he was dangerous. He was scary. Because my god, he's just like, enchantment! And you're like, everyone around you is dead, what happened? Enchantment! And you're like, what the fuck? God. So innocent, so pure, but so scary. What does enchantment do exactly? It makes people tranquil, 
while they're in a trance, they don't feel pain or have a clear memory of what happened. Like anesthesia. Is it like anesthesia? In a way, I bet you this fellow in the States who invented it is a vampire. You mean William Morton? Mm-hmm. I heard the doctor was toying with that idea before the discovery. He was not happy the Americans figured it out first. So they don't remember anything once they're enchanted. Not quite. They may not remember what happened, but they won't forget how you made them feel. I am Groot. <laughs> Sounds like a subject for some awkward conversations. You don't know the half of it yet. You'll see. All right. How do I? So how do I enchant someone? I don't know if I can whistle like you. Don't worry. Whistling is just for me. It's like a cure for hiccups. Everybody has their own way. When you'll need it, it will come to you. Okay. Does this mean you can just come up to anybody and make them tranquil? In theory, but it's not quite that simple. Firstly, they have to like you, an important condition. Without it, the charm won't work. Secondly, you would should only do it to humans, so it doesn't work on other vampires. He didn't say that. I didn't say that. Huh? There are rumors that the best of the best can indeed enchant their own kind. But I don't even know if the Countess has this kind of power. Besides, this would certainly not be considered ethical by our vampire brothers and sisters. Vampire siblings. I bet they wouldn't mind to have that power, though. Oh, without a doubt. So why would you want to enchant someone? What's my stats at? It's gonna be a while. I thought you might ask that. There are two main reasons. One, people in trance are easily suggestible. You can use that to influence their thoughts and opinions. Sounds unethical. That doesn't sound right. Well, I didn't say you have to do it, did I? Everyone lives with their own choices. Will they do anything, I say? When you say influence their thoughts, does this mean they will do anything? Only within reason, of course, especially when you are a beginner. Impression is a delicate art. It takes a lot of practice. All right. And what is the second reason? I think you already know. Oh, you just got paler. Trophim. What have you done? I just opened him up for you. Oh my god. Don't worry. You'll be just fine unless we bleed him dry. Come here. It's time for you to learn how to feed. <laughs> come, come. I... I don't know if I'm ready. You're as ready as you'll ever be. How do I... Churn. Just relax. Let your instincts take over. It'll come naturally. You've unlocked a new ability. Turn into a vampire. Unleash the fangs. Oh. Muffled. My mouth is bleeding! Of course. I forgot to warn you. Sorry. Don't worry. It's normal. That happens when your fangs are out for the first time. <laughs> My mouth! It will recover in a minute. Oh, okay. Whoa. His skin smells like wild berries. Do we have permission to eat, drink from the Countess's coachman? But not just the smell, the promise of warmth that draws you. The promise of being whole. Didn't I just drink? I want to feel it on my teeth, in my body. No, I can't do this. I don't think I can do it. I'm sorry. All right. But if the Countess asks, promise you'll say that you've done it. I don't want to lie to her. I don't want to get in trouble because you chickened out. You're going to get so much trouble. I promise I'm a liar. Remember, you have to learn to do it to survive. Better get back to the other errands. Don't want to get my tunic wet. Do you remember the way back? I do. What's that? <gasps> oh, I can say thank you. Thank you for your help. I had a rough day and it means a lot to me. Aw, don't mention it. I ended up having a decent time myself. I'll see you soon. Bye. I should get back to Manor and talk with the Countess. I'll process this all later. Where will I live? What is next? There's so much I have to sort out first. But first... Sarah said I can influence someone who is enchanted. I should try it on Trophim. 
Hello, Trovim. Can you hear me, Trovim? Here is something I'd like you to do. <gasps> Start stealing? Drink even more? Drink less. You will start pacing your drinking. The subconscious has been altered. You've gained more humanity. All right, I guess I could out of here. All right, bye, friend. Amazing, amazing. Oi! Ah! What happened? What was that? Okay, no, you're fine. Hold on. What about Hussar? Is he fine? Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I'm flippity flapping. I was like, drop him? Hussar? <gasps> what if Hussar got stabbed? No, he's probably fine. Right? Everybody's fine? Nothing crazy down here? Actually, could I go through the front door? Is that a thing? Looks like the banquet is over. Someone is still inside, though. Nope, I gotta go where I came from. they eat him? I don't understand. How could this even happen? Do you have no self-control at all? It's Petya's doll, Matilda. This is so unsettling. Petya! What is this? Uncover the body. My god! Relation map has been updated? For good or for worse? 60, 50, 50. 55. Oh, because he's dead. Oh! What? Who, who ate my friend? <gasps> what? What the hell happened here? It's all Victoria's fault. Is it. Wait, Vic. Victoria? I told her he's almost empty, but she wouldn't listen. What do you want from me? I was starving and you barely left me anything. Doesn't matter now. We drained a man, not anywhere, but at the Countess Manor. Someone's gonna fry for this, and it sure as hell won't be me. Are you mad? No one is going to be executed for this. He's just a human. You monsters! How could you do this? And who are you exactly? That's right. Hasn't been a vampire for five minutes and thinks she knows everything. I know not to kill a man! Uh-oh. Come with me, lovely. This is not your mess to sort out. Oh, I'm... I'm upset, though. Ooh! Ooh! Just gonna see if I can... <laughs> just start trying to bite them. Ha! No music for anybody. No music. This is a sad... Solemn time for our boy. I'm sorry they ate you. I want to buy your doll. I am the upsetty spaghetti. Those morons. I knew I couldn't leave them alone with him. I, I just can't seem to make sense of it. I just talked with Petya not even an hour ago. I'm so sorry. He didn't need to die today. Well, what happens now? Well, the Countess won't like this one bit, I can tell you that much. She's sympathetic to humans? Um, I wouldn't say that. However, she doesn't like murders being linked up to her property. She'll find her way out of this, no doubt, but those three in the ballroom? We'll have to see. Frying someone. Back in the room, they said someone will be fried? What does that mean? It's gone warm today? <gasps> Larrington! Heck yeah! I'm sorry, is it my Texas heat? Did it... Did it travel across the pond to make it hot? I don't know if you heard this yet, but we can't be in the sun. It destroys us. I did read about that. Very nice. In the folk tales. The stories are true. Sometimes it is used as a form of capital punishment for our kind. What do you think will happen to those three outside? Murdering a human, sadly, isn't a big crime in our community. I don't think it'll come to that. But I'd my guess, I'd say they'll get their fangs dulled for troubling the Countess. 
They'll grow back after a month or two, but before then they'll have to feed solely on Cabernet, and it isn't cheap. What if they can't afford it? They will just have to find a way. Some take loans, some steal. Can't be the sun. It just can't be in the sun. It destroys us. Yep, feeling that at the moment. 32 or 90 here. How about there? Let's see. Right now, what do we got? It's currently uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like 100. And the highest it will get today is 105. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Nope. It's just... Hold on, let's see if we can get that. Come on! 105, 100, 100, 100, 100. All the beautiful hundreds. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. It's gonna be in the hundreds for the next 10 days. Perfect time to play a vampire game, because I'm not in the sun. Without blood, we're like humans without water. So, three days? Can't go without blood? Arbin? Yes, lovely. Do you know what will happen to me now? I don't even know who I am anymore. What, what do I do? Where do I live? I understand. It's not an easy day. We all went through this at some point. All the answers will come at the right time. For now, you just need to wait it out till someone sends for you. I must admit, I feel quite restless. Listen, not many of us might say this to you, so I wanted to do it. Being one of us doesn't just mean hurting people for your own benefit. It doesn't have to be. To me, it means that I have an attorney become better. Learn from my mistakes. Absorb the knowledge from the world. Oh, 68% humidity? Oh, I'm so sorry. I suppose that's one way to look at it. I'm a doctor. You know, the Countess has a wonderful library over here. Why don't you grab a book and use this time to learn something new? Perfection comes in little steps. <gasps> yes. Thank you for all your help and kindness, Arbin. Feels really good to have a friend around here. I know it can't be easy for you right now in all this madness. It's hard to adjust. I learned that the hard way. Trust me. Here, I want you to have this. <gasps> Small vial with blood. Sustains you for a day. Yeah. It's not going to last long, but it'll give you a little peace of mind for the time being. I should go now, lovely. You know where to find me. Next time, a drink at my bar is on me. I'll be looking forward to it. I'm going to read them. You can read books to pass time and increase knowledge stats. <gasps> yes. Ooh. Science, history. Okay, hold on. What's what's my stuff at? What's a? Uh, what am I? What are my stats at? I'm so sad. We were just getting to know each other. Now he's dead. Uh, science. Let's do science. Science. Man selects only for his own good. Nature only for that of the being which she tends. Oh, okay. I guess I just read all the books. So you do have a plan. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. <laughs> yes. I've read a book to pass the time. Quick steps are heard. Argument dies down. Why? I should see what all this ruckus is about. Do we have to? Do we have to? They're definitely in trouble. Oh! Consequences! <gasps> you will make choices in Cabernet. Some of little and some of big consequence. You will not always know which one is which. Some of those consequences will be marked on the screen by this symbol, okay? I, I see it up there. <gasps> oh, is it because I took the sheet off so like maybe like the countess came in immediately saw the body and was like you couldn't even wipe the blood from your face they must have taken Petya's body away lord only knows what they'll do to it what's going on this is fresh what in the world caused this ah uh, somebody messed up they must have taken Petya's body away oh they're probably gonna make like put him in a barrel <laughs> Sherlock Holmes blood I just start playing that clip, blood. Hey, how's it, how's it going? My God, what happened here? Idiots being punished for their own stupidity. Did you kill them? I took that snake's fangs out. We'll see how she does now. I wasn't sure what to do when I saw him, but then I thought about something you said earlier. Really? What was it? 
that mortal life has the same value as eternal existence. I don't know if it's true, but it certainly helped me find my rage. Ooh, maybe that could be a redeem. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Let me write this down so I don't forget. Which, <laughs> which specific Sherlock Holmes? Because I think there was like two or three that, where he just goes, blood. Sherlock Holmes. Blood sound redeem. It would just be a sound bite. I could do that. I could figure that out. Oh my god. <laughs> blood. Oh. Could be a compilation. Don't. Ugh, don't tempt me, Larrington, because then I'll have to watch all the Sherlock's and find all the exact moments he says blood and then put them all together and it'll just be like blood, 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 blood. If they all have different VAs, use one from each VA. I think there's two or three different VAs because I know up until Sherlock became much older or younger, it was like the same guy. Still. This isn't going to bring him back. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about Petya. He seemed like such a nice boy. It was always a risk. Life goes on or whatever it is we have. But thank you. You must be curious about what happens to you now. <gasps> My relationship improved. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. The way it works is that you get assigned to the one who churned you for the apprenticeship. I believe you are a doctor's disciple. I don't really remember much before I woke up. The doctor... He was a traveling doctor that came to the city, wasn't he? He was a vampire? He certainly was. Well, I'll come back eventually. Don't worry about it now. Countess has a coachman, Trophim. He will take you to the doctor's place in town. He is rough around the edges, but you can learn a lot from him. May I speak with the countess herself? You need to be a little more important for that to happen. Trust me, she'll send for you soon. She has errands for us all. You will be no exception. Un understood. I understand. Good girl. You should go. Trough will be waiting for you and the sun is not getting any lower. I've unlocked the door by the balcony. It will lead you to the stairs and outside. So who is in the basement? Because I owe somebody who can't talk a favor. Who the fuck is in the basement? Hey, Liza? Yes? Never mind. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insist. What is it? You're only churned recently. When was the last time you watched the sunrise? Must have been a couple weeks ago. I was studying late for my exams. What did it feel like? Oh my God, be sincere. Well, I was worried about the day to come and when a ray of sun fell on my face, I don't know. I felt warm, hopeful. Oh, Aly Alyssa misses the sun. Why do you ask? No reason. It's just been a while since I've seen one. You'll hear from the Countess soon. I'm sure I will. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you. Could you please take this ugly doll with you? I can't keep looking into its dead eyes. Does it remind you of Petya? Just take it with you, please. I will. All right, I will. Thanks. See you around. Bro, imagine if I just immediately left. Would I have not gotten any of this? <gasps> my humanity has passed a bar. Yes. How's my relationship with her? Amazing. Ooh. Coming home with me. I swear, it just blinked. Favorite creation of deceased Betia. <gasps> oh, is that the end? Oh, I'm so, oh, it's so good. Highly recommend everyone play the demo themselves. See if what happens if you're a bit more nihilistic than me. But ah, oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, I can't wait till this comes out. Putting it on the wish list. Because in the email they sent me, they're like, it's a visual novel where you play a girl who's become a vampire and needs to navigate the high society. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm just expecting like stories and like, you know, picking and choosing, you know, like a regular visual novel. I wasn't expecting... I could actually move around RPG elements and turn into an adorable bat and fly around. And I'm just like, oh, oh, a cabernet for a cabertoss. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, wrong button. Not that button. This button. I almost hit the stream ending button. Let me get us set up for the next game. 
one second. <laughs> 